Joining us on Skype from San Francisco, Vector Space is uh, Cajun Frank, and thanks for joining us. And Cajun, what is Vector Space? Thanks for having me. Well, Vector Space is primarily a platform. It's a technology platform, a platform for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Uh, some like to call it artificial intelligence, but we provide them with specialized data, alternative data. This includes quants, it includes algorithm engineers, and on our dataset platform, we're able to produce smart baskets. So Vector Space has financial products for the cryptocurrency markets that result from its machine learning operations and the dataset platform that we have. Cajun, tell me about yourself and what inspired you to build Vector Space. Sure. Well, I think that uh, you know it's it goes back to my childhood. My mom was in the investment banking industry. She worked for Citibank, Montgomery Securities, Nations Bank, and you know, at the dinner table, she'd bring home the Wall Street Journal. You know, we we were only allowed to watch Louis Roykheiser's Wall Street Week and the Nightly Business Report, <laughs> and you know, years of that, along with music videos, you know, but years years of music videos and Wall Street Week, you know, got me interested in the financial markets, uh, but. I looked at software engineering as um, a path that I should probably take, and I did that for a while and wound up in the life sciences industry and spent a lot of time there involved with data engineering and in particular building what are called automated feature engineering pipelines. So, you know, fast forward to today, I've had a chance to start a couple of startups. I've got a great team around me. We've raised uh, you know, a healthy amount of money in the past, and here we are you know, looking at an opportunity in the cryptocurrency space based on our experience in the financial markets and our experience analyzing data in the life sciences industry. Can you provide some insight into your smart basic technology and how it's being used? Sure. So we, we looked at a paper written by Ger Huberman. This was a professor, finance professor out of Columbia University who described an event uh, that involved a company called Entremed, but it surround in short it it relates to the concept of that a rising tide lifts all boats and when you look at a stock or you look at a cryptocurrency if you look at one that maybe has risen 50% 20% there are likely other companies that have hidden relationships to those that will rise as well the smart basket allows us to capture those relationships and then trade them in one click Cajun, who's using vector space and can you tell me where we might see the smart basket in use today? Sure, so we have smart baskets and smart basket ETFs. And as you know, we've got a lot of the traditional, let's say traditional money looking at entering the cryptocurrency space. Their analog is the ETF. So we're looking at providing an ETF in terms of the software structure and the cryptocurrency structure to enable someone to participate in the cryptocurrency markets with the with the vehicle of an ETF, uh, but built in software, built on the blockchain. So that's what you're able to do. What's your relationship to Google? Right, well, you know, some people have been talking to us about what we're doing with Google because Google did approach us, maybe it was about six months ago, and they asked us if they could use QuantBot, which is a service that we provide for messaging platforms. So we have QuantBot living on Slack right now. Uh, people are able to retrieve stocks based on a news event or a global trend. They're also able to retrieve cryptocurrencies based on a global trend or a news event or even a URL. Well, Google saw this and invited us to their Google Hangouts platform. Uh, this is just the start of an entry-level partnership. Uh, we're happy to be a part of the Google family, but at the same time, we're really looking at extending our services in the area of data set building, alternative data sets, and feature engineering. Cajun, can you tell me about the company's revenue models and are you generating revenues currently? Sure. So we have about 350 customers signed up to our free tier on our data set platform. They are building data sets that help them achieve uh, different signals uh, or perhaps generate alpha in some way or another, uh, maybe provide new insights. But we've had about, yeah, like I was saying, about 350 people sign up and we have a, a second tier of services. 
and a third and a fourth. And these are these are pay for services and they're based on subscriptions. So Netflix like subscriptions. You can share your subscription to, with someone else as long as there's enough vector space in the wallet. As long as there's enough of our token in, in the wallet address that you're using, then you have access to our services. A minimal amount, there is a minimum amount of our token that you would want to keep in a wallet if you're, say, a data scientist to use our API services. So the, the revenue model has a lot to do with subscriptions and providing tiered levels of subscriptions for anyone involved in machine learning or anyone involved in gaining that extra insight from your data. Cajun, what is the future hold for vector space? Is there anything you can share with us? Well, right now we are developing our techno. Well, let's say we've developed our technology. It's been in use for quite some time, but we're developing revisions. We're also developing variants of the patents that we have associated with this. And in conjunction with Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, we spent a few years there uh, developing this technology and we, we were issued a few patents and we're looking to capitalize on those patents a little bit. But we're also looking to engage in licensing and, of course, a share on any net that our data sets might produce in terms of signal or alpha. Cajun Frank from Vector Space on Skype from San Francisco. Thanks so much for joining us. Sure. Thank you. You're watching New to the Street. We'll be right back.